Good morning, folks. Starting at spaceweathernews.com, we find the last 24 hours on our star relatively calm. Got a plasma filament out ahead of the northern active region. Meanwhile, we've still got those solar tornadoes we saw yesterday cresting over the eastern limb. In 304 angstroms, we can see that the southern active region is trying to get something going with a staccato streamer there at the lead umbra. But alas, it has thus far been unable to overcome the Earth-facing quiet effect. It's been more than two days since the last M-class flare. Moderately reduced flares seem appropriate because when we see what these spots looked like when they crested, we can see now they're just moderate versions of their former selves in both umbral size and magnetic complexity. Delta potential remains, but we shouldn't be too optimistic for him. Solar wind is steady, even if it is above average intensity. That stability to the stream is keeping us below storm level conditions in our magnetic field. Let's jump to earthquakes. We find the uptick continuing as a six-pointer struck a strong OLR anomaly in Afghanistan. Details on our Twitter feed from last night. The uptick is being triggered by the first substantially powerful IMF from Corona Holes in about a week. The uptick could continue after a short break here because the trailing portion extends south to the equator and possibly further. You can see it with the green positive IMF lines on the left coming from a large longitudinal coverage area. Folks, there's a buoy going bonkers in the North Pacific, but it's very likely to be erroneous because 60-foot tsunamis are not hitting Hawaii or Oregon or Japan, etc., but we'll keep an eye on it. Let's come to the United States, because by tonight, that central low will make a quick shift east, driving storms and possibly more tornadoes along the convergence line, with a crazy temperature gradient to boot due to the wind drive sucking around the low. So again, folks, not only is severe weather coming, but snow and freezing temps are going to be hot on their tail. The one-two winter punch. In just over a month, the observers will descend on Phoenix, Arizona. Folks, the talk titles are available for all but two of the talks scheduled. I'd love it if anyone who came out to the Mobile Observatory Tour or to our Pittsburgh conference wouldn't mind putting some testimony in today's comment section below the video about just how much fun it is to be at an observer's gathering. And website members, We'll have a new episode of Fly on the Wall for you here in just a couple of hours. We're going to discuss the Earth-facing solar quiet effect today, including what may be causing it and what's definitely not causing it. Evidence that animals are changing fast and a huge twist to a recent major story about there being another object in our solar system. We're going to go to Europe and down under and then scale up through the atmosphere on the Earth wind map before moving to shots of our star to close. It's 5.55 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.